Hello everyone, this is Elena. We're back with another video. And on this occasion, we're gonna talk about a topic that's been concerning a lot of our clients as of late. So if you're struggling to incorporate a live learning into your online courses, you are not alone. It's actually a very common hurdle that educators experience when live training is a part of an online curriculum. From hosting and managing online courses within your online platform like LearnDash, to tracking attendance, reporting on grading, and even incorporating all of this live training into something bigger like a continuing education program can be a huge struggle. Here at Wu Ninjas, we are no strangers to this concern as it's something that our clients frequently talk to us about. So in this video, we wanna help you out, give you a little bit of a deep dive into the topic, so we're gonna be talking about the best practices for hosting online learning within a LearnDash platform. We're gonna give you a general guidelines for integrating Zoom into LearnDash and also share some tips and tricks on implementing this and getting the most out of the integration as possible based on what we've done to our clients before. So without further ado, let's jump into it. As you know, there are many online conferencing options out there, but one of the most popular ones is Zoom. It is frequently used in online learning, and it's a tool that mo most students are already familiar with. To get started, you will need a plugin that allows you to integrate Zoom into WordPress. So far, there's not a plugin that's specifically designed to add a Zoom session into LearnDash, but we do have a lot of options out there to integrate Zoom with WordPress, and that alone enables you to embed the Zoom session within any custom post type within WordPress, including lessons and topics. So one that you should definitely check out is eLearning Evolves Zoom WordPress plugin. This is already being used by a lot of LearnDash users. It doesn't help you resolve issues such as grading and event registration and attendance tracking, but it at least helps you resolve some problems. And for example, it eliminates the need of students to go around searching for their links everywhere. They just can access the Zoom session directly within the LearnDash course. Another option you should check out is video conferencing with Zoom, which you can just download directly from the WordPress repository. If attendance tracking is essential for your particular course, you can configure additional features for this part of your live trainings. It's not just about adding a live session into a lesson, but also gathering data about the students who joined, when they joined, and how long did they actually remain in the session. Because in online courses, when, when you're doing live trainings, you can have students that join the Zoom session, but then immediately log out. For example, we worked on a client project offering continuing education training, helping them improve their attendance tracking. On this occasion, we custom developed a feature that allowed them to track not only which students logged in, but also what percentage of the session they were online for. For example, here you can see the name of the student that logged in, but also you can see their percentage of attendance, that means how how much of the session were they actually online and this is super important in continuing education because these trainings are used to gain continuing education units and verify and sustain credentials we also allowed them to set a minimum attendance requirement for example they could set a minimum attendance for a live class at 60 percent of the class so if the student is not online for 60 percent of the zoom session they wouldn't obtain the completion status for that lesson however there are always cases wherein technology can fail there can be power outings or personal emergencies and for this case we further simplified everything for the admins by providing them a manual awarding of the certificates or of the completion status for these lessons and they can manually assign or revoke independently of the attendance status in this case we can see an attendance threshold of 40 percent and we can see the students that passed it and they automatically get awarded this certificate to make things even better for students, we also implemented this into student profiles where 
students can see all of their certificates in one place. And since we linked certificates for each live course, we also created this table where they can quickly gather their certificate from a link, but also view their attendance time st statistics and their attendance percentages so that they have clear data on their performance. To make things even clearer, we configured an automatic email that is sent immediately after the course, letting students know why they did or didn't obtain a certificate. That way, there are no unnecessary questions asked and students have a clear idea of why they didn't meet their requirements and why they can't access their certificates if that be the case. But beyond attendance tracking, there are other things to keep in mind, such as event registration, which you can do by further integrating LearnDash and Zoom with another solution, for example, Event Espresso, or use an automation tool such as Zapier. For example, here we can select a, a trigger that a user is enrolled into a course. This course is going to contain a live session. So then you can just automatically program it to create a meeting or create a meeting registrant. And this way you can facilitate the whole process of doing live learning. So in this case, our clients were already using Event Espresso directly linked with Zoom, but no LearnDash in place, which meant no certificates and no e-learning features. So we created a unified system that enabled them to use Event Espresso, WooCommerce, LearnDash, and Zoom in one swift unified system. And after that, this registration button from Event Espresso automatically enrolls students into LearnDash once they pay the price, unless they're part of the membership. And once they register for an event, they no longer see the registration button on the landing page that is hidden and they they instead see the join webinar button right here further facilitating the entire process and reducing administrative load from all the emails that teachers sometimes receive from students that aren't able to easily find their zoom session link and there you have it by keeping all of this in mind you can effectively start hosting live events and live classes on your learn dash courses just keep in mind that everything is not the technology, but that the most important part is its implementation. If you have any further questions or you need assistance, feel free to reach out to our team and check out our LearnDash configuration and customization services. We'll be happy to lend a hand. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, to subscribe, and leave us a comment below telling us what you'd like to be next. All of that really supports what we do. Thank you for watching and until the next one.